In this video, I'll show you how to use gauges in our dashboard. Dashboard Designer is already connected to a data source. I'll add a gauge by clicking on the button here. Drop the sales field to the actual placeholder of the gauges section. The gauge will show the total sales value using a needle. To change scale settings, click the Options button next to the Data Item Container. Here, you can change minimum and maximum values on the gauge scale by unchecking Auto and adding the required value. Drop the Sales Target field to the Target Placeholder. The gauge shows us a marker. The delta indicator and delta value will show the difference between the actual and target values. To change options related to the delta indication, click the Options button. Here, you can change the value type to Percent Variation to display the percent variation between actual and target values. You can also change the result indication. Select Less is Good and Warning if Greater to see the result. Let's add the Product Category field to the Series section to display an individual gauge for each category. I'll change the Threshold value to 1%. Use Edit Names to change the name displayed within Gauge Captions. Let's see how to sort categories by sales values. Click the Product Category button and select Sort by Sales. Switch the sort order to Descending. To filter the gauge, use Edit Filter. Here I'll specify some criteria and click OK to filter the gauge. To reset filtering, use Clear. You can also use the drill down feature with our gauges. Just click the button here to enable it. Then add the Product Subcategory field to Series. Now you can click on the gauge to move to subcategories. Use the Drill Up button in the caption to move back. Let's see how to add some interactivity to the gauge. Add a new chart dashboard item and use it to display the variation of sales for each category over time. Select the gauge. Go to the Data tab and enable Multiple Master Filter. Select the required gauge or multiple gauges to filter the chart on the right according to selected categories. Click the Clear Master Filter button to reset filtering. You can also use the Ignore Master Filters button to make the dashboard item unaffected by master filters. Let's look at options available for the layout and style settings. You can arrange gauges within the dashboard item automatically using the Auto Arrange button. To arrange gauges in a specific number of columns, use the Arrange in Columns button. And the Arrange in Rows button allows you to arrange gauges in a specific number of rows. The Style group allows you to select the required style for gauges. For example, you can use the half circular or three fourths circular styles here. Finally, you can manage the visibility of gauge captions using the Show Captions button. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.